What does the NAR settlement mean for buyers? And please never say sorry for asking questions. I'm happy to answer. If you want your own representation with a buyer's agent, it is your responsibility to pay them. So once you have a buyer's consultation with an agent, they're going to discuss their fee and you can negotiate that fee. Just know that that fee is yours to pay. Now they can negotiate the seller to pay that on your behalf, just like closing costs where all the closing costs can be paid on your behalf. But no, the number that you decide on that they're going to charge is how much is going to come off the equity of the seller. So just like in a regular offer, if you need 3% of the purchase price for closing costs versus another offer that doesn't need anything because they're gonna pay their own, it's the same thing. So now people with more money, more expendable pocket money, those people are going to tell their agent, hey, I'll just pay you out of pocket, let's get this house under contract. Now VA buyers, it's gonna be a little different. VA loan users are not allowed to compensate a real estate agent in a transaction. So when they sign an agreement with an agent, they are going to commit to that agent being allowed to negotiate every single time on every single deal because they don't have the option to pay it themselves. Now people are saying, oh, the VA is gonna change their guidelines, blah, 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 don't worry. Those people have never waited on the VA for anything. The VA doesn't change things very quickly. We're going to see a lot of unrepresented veterans. We're going to see a lot of dual representation. And in dual representation, the agent has a fiduciary duty to the seller. What I would love to see is for the VA benefit to include somewhat of an allowance so those VA beneficiaries can get their own representation without spending even more than their closing costs. The VA is supposed to be no down payment, no PMI. The only thing you're responsible for is your own closing costs. Even so, I was able to negotiate nine times out of 10 for that to be either less or none at all for them. So it's just gonna give them a disadvantage, which a lot of areas, there's a big disadvantage already because people don't wanna deal with the VA. I love the VA loan. I specialize in it. It's just yet another hurdle for them to have to deal with. So bottom line, sellers can pay the fee. They're just not outright responsible for it. And if you can't pay out of pocket, you're gonna have a rougher time in multiple offer situations. Hope this helps.